In this video, we'll look at how to make our xQuery script, transform.xqy, more general. Right now, the stylesheet and source document arguments are hard-coded. Let's make it more general by passing an HTTP request parameter indicating the desired source document. Instead of the hard-coded string hamlet.xml, we can read the request parameter named source by using the getRequest field extension function. The get request now must specify which source document we want. It's easy to test this out by setting the source parameter in the browser. Here we see the transformed result of Macbeth.xml. To see another Shakespeare play, we just change the value accordingly. While this works okay, the URLs are ugly and not very search engine friendly. Specifically, it would be nice to get rid of the query string. So for example, we could just type slash Hamlet and see the transformed result of Hamlet.xml. If we try that right now, of course, it doesn't work because we have no file named Hamlet on the file system. This is where MarkLogic's URL rewriting capabilities come in handy. First, we need to specify a URL rewriter script in the app server configuration. Back in the administrative interface, we find the My First Web App server listing. Then we scroll down until we see the URL rewriter field. Here we put the name of an xQuery file that will do the URL rewriting for us. Let's call it URL rewrite. .xqy. I've prepared a simple URL rewriter script ahead of time. Let's walk through it line by line. But the first thing to point out is that this is just an xQuery script. It's unique in that its purpose is to output a URL, mapping the original URL to a new URL, performing an internal redirect. In our case, we want to map, for example, the cool URL slash Hamlet to the ugly behind-the-scenes URL that includes the query string. First, we store the original incoming URL in a variable. Next, we get just the path part and add .xml to the end of it, storing this candidate document URL in the doc URL variable. Now we want to make sure our server will continue to be able to handle requests for static files, such as CSS, JavaScript, and images, since the URL rewriter script will be used to handle every incoming request, we need to somehow tell what kind of request we're dealing with. There are a number of ways to do this, but the approach I've taken here is to check for the existence of the given URL in the database. If there is no document in the database with that URL, then leave the, the URL unchanged, returning the original. But if there is such a document, such as hamlet.xml, then dispatch processing to the transform.xqy script, passing it the source parameter. Now, all we should have to type in the browser address bar is slash Hamlet. Sure enough, here we see the results of the XSLT transformation, but with friendly URLs now. And slash Macbeth maps to the transformed result of Macbeth.xml.